The filter blocks out the major large particles. One of the key components of a drip irrigation system is crop management. This aspect of the one day drip irrigation course at Moree was covered by Netafim's Victorian agronomist, Sam Birrell. The key thing is that when you're drip irrigating um, and you've got a pressurised irrigation system delivering exact amounts of water as opposed to flood irrigation, you can use a little bit more science in applying the exact amount of water that the crop needs. So therefore, you need to know exactly how much water the crop needs. So there's a simple scientific uh, calculation made which uses uh, evapotranspiration, and that's just a figure that, that, uh, that is, is derived through uh, temperature, humidity and, and a few other things, and it's readily available on, on various websites, the Bureau of Meteorology website. So evapotranspiration for a particular geographical area multiplied with a crop factor and each different crop, um, pecans, uh, peaches, apples, loosened cotton, all have different crop factors. So when you multiply those two figures together, you get the millimetres that that crop requires uh, at a particular time to be irrigated. Now each drip irrigation system puts out a certain number of millimetres per hour. So it's a very simple uh, calculation to make that you need to run your system for a certain number of hours per day or per week. So it's like weather-based scheduling then, isn't it? Yeah, I, I, I think uh, we're moving towards uh, weather-based scheduling um, as, as, a, as a starting point and then using any uh, plant sensors or soil moisture sensors to uh, fine-tune that just to see with, if, if what, that, what the weather-based scheduling is doing, if that is reflected in the, the use of water in the soil by the crop and the actual growth of the crop. So your efficiency, water use efficiency, can be increased to what sort of level if you're using all those, those uh, uh, would you say, management tools? Yeah, look, I think 95% is realistic. Um, if, you know, the definition of water use efficiency is how much water that you actually apply gets used by the crop to help it grow. Uh, so it's basically taking away losses. And if you apply exactly the amount that the crop needs and you don't lose any below or you don't lose any to evaporation, then you can get up around 95%. That's excellent. What other uh, advantages are there with, with drip, say with applying fertiliser and so on? Yeah, fertiliser application through the system is a, a huge advantage from a number of different areas. Um, particularly with nitrogen, um, when people spread nitrogen, it can be lost either if there's a big rain or an over irrigation, that nitrogen dissolves and goes through past the root zone to the water table. And obviously the, the fertilizer's lost, so that that's no good. And also it co can cause an environmental problem in the groundwater. The other thing is that sometimes people spread nitrogen particularly and it can, uh, it can volatilize. And that means it turns back into gas and goes back up into the atmosphere. Again, the fertilizer's lost and uh, and it can cause a, an environmental problem as nitrous oxide. If you just apply a little bit of nitrogen, the amount the crop needs every irrigation or every few irrigations, then your chances of the crop using all the fertiliser that you're applying are much higher. So you should be able to cut back on your fertiliser costs quite a lot then with uh, subsurface drip. We've found people who, uh, who use drip irrigation well and who schedule their fertiliser very well have been able to cut back a lot on the amount of uh, what sort of percentage? nitrogen. Oh, I've found people who've been able to cut back 40 to 50 percent on the on the particularly nitrogen, but also generally fertilizer that they use.